You're still watching the City Newsroom. We're a few days away from December 7 and your election bureau, City TV, City FM and the City Newsroom are ready to deliver the best in terms of coverage for this year's elections. But what is our level of preparation? What has gone into our preparation for this year's election? I have here with me the general manager for the station, Bernard Coco Avila, to run us through how well prepared are we? What's our plan going into this election? Thank you, Bobby. We are very ready. We've been preparing for quite a while. A good election has always three parts. The pre-election, the election day itself, and the post-election. And if you've been following what we've been doing on TV and radio, you've noticed that we've had the Voters' Diary and a few other programs which have built up nicely to where we are today. So in terms of pre-election, we feel pretty confident. Now, for the election itself, we are very, very ready. And I don't know what you want to know, but I think that in terms of the platforms, the personnel, the places, we are looking forward to it. I mean, in terms of the team, talk, talk to me about the, the team we have on the ground. So let me just put it this way. We have three platforms first. So you have radio, television, and online. Mm -hmm. So we have three platforms. Then we have four bureaus. So we have the Accra Bureau, which is the headquarters. We have Kumasi, we have Tamale and Takradi. Then in terms of the people on air, we have six analysts and 10 presenters. Okay, so that's about 15, 16. Uh, of our team, journalists. Then we have about 60 journalists working online and also in the various regions and in Accra. Okay. Then we have about 300 volunteers across the country. Okay. And of course, then we have partner station network that we're working with as well. So three platforms, up to 15 personalities on air, up to 60 journalists, 300 volunteers working in uh, all 16 regions of the country and it's really a team effort that we're putting together to cover this election. Mm. So um, we essentially are very much ready. Now on election day, what should our target audience expect in terms of our programming and the content we'll be channeling out? So let me again divide that for people to follow. So the way voting works, it starts at 7 a.m., ends at 5 p.m. and then you have the counting. So between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., we're covering for radio, television and online giving people a sense of what's happening. Then from 6 p.m. to midnight, the results starts coming in, constituency levels, and the, sorry, uh, polling station and then constituency levels. So we are going to have an uninterrupted coverage from 6 a.m. on voting day until Mrs. Jean Mensah, who is the returning officer for the election, declares the final result. We're not going to go on any break. So it's going to be 6 a.m. till mama calls. <laughs> and it's going to be really in three parts. The election itself, in terms of the conduct, materials, security, voting, and all those things. Then you have the counting, the counting and then the declaration. Then of course, there's the coalition centers. We'll be at all the coalition centers for each constituency. Then there's also the regional coalitions before the EC who say they'll declare the time that they want to declare. So it's, it's really, and of course, it's not just telling people what's happening. It's also what it means. Mm -hmm. Because election coverage is not just about reporting the information is raw state. It's about contextualizing it. So we have graphical depiction, uh, depictions, we have, we have models. So infographics for online, we have models that we use for people to see. So for example, if a polling station at SNAP school gives you the results, how did it behave last election? How does this compare with the turnout for the previous one? What does this mean for the broader context of the constituency? So I think what you will get with City is accurate information in terms of what has happened and also insightful analysis of what it means so that you don't just have to wait till the results are announced you can see where it's trending and you can also put it in greater context based on the quality of analysis our team will put together so essentially uh, insightful uh, uh, contextualized coverage of the elections uh, so um, the team is ready I mean you're ready so um, at the end of the day our audience should expect uh, the best coverage so far. This is our fifth election. We did 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and this is 2020. Technology has improved. We have more resources. We have eyes everywhere. Our journalists have learned on the job. And I think our listeners and our viewers know that when it comes to credibility, city stands out. So they should just relax, call their friends to join. Now, those who are abroad who can't necessarily uh, be here, we will be streaming everything live on citynewsroom.com, both video and audio. And there will be lots of infographics to explain what's going on. And there's a lot of material we'll put on the website for people to be able to compare to understand what's happening. So you would not miss any important thing if you stay with City 
on either radio, television or online. So for the most credible and insightful coverage for this year's elections, you know where to be on City TV, City FM and the City Newsroom. We just heard our General Manager, Bernard Koko Able, essentially mentioning that we are ready to go. This is the City Newsroom.